Can your stream do this? Let me show you how. So what we're going to look at today is how to create smooth motion transitions between scenes in OBS. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is go and look for a little bit of software, a plugin for OBS called Move Transition. If we search for that, you'll bring to this page here and you can go ahead and download the installer for whichever operating system you run on. Once you've got that downloaded and got it installed, we can then start to think about what items are we actually going to need for our scenes in OBS. Now, it's good practice to go and make yourself a folder and put all of the images and media sources and such like into that place so that when you open up OBS, it's always going to look for them in the same place because if you move that file, OBS is not going to know where it is. So here we are in our blank OBS scene and we're going to start adding some of those files that we want to be in here. We'll start with a simple backdrop image that we're going to have across all of our scenes. Open that up there, and there we go. It's a little bit too big just now, but if we go and right click transform, there's a convenient bit to screen right there. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make another scene. This scene is going to be where I house all of the filters and sources associated with my webcam, for example, because when I move my webcam around the screen, I want everything to go with it. So we're going to make a nest. So if we come down to our little plus sign at the bottom here for scenes, we can add webcam nest. And we can start adding all the things that we need for our webcam. Let's go ahead into our sources. We'll find our video capture device. Webcam. You can call it whatever you want, but that's what I'm gonna go with. It defaults to my webcam, which is very handy. And we'll just stretch that out to be roughly the right size. You will notice in the corner of my screen that I have the corner of my webcam chopped off. Now we can do this using something called a mask. If you go into your webcam, right click and go to filters, in your filters, Bex filters that is, we can go to image mask and we can bring in another image set to the shape that we want our webcam to be. So in my case, We'll grab my 4x3 border mask. We'll set this type to be alpha channel because we want it to look for the transparency, not the color. Um, and that's done, you'll see my corner is now missing. You can make this whatever size of shape you want. In my case, I'll just keep it nice and simple. We're gonna add our little overlay as well. And we can place that over our webcam. Now, because we've gone and made a scene with all of the parts for our webcam in one place. What we can do is when we move things around, they'll all go together. So let's go back to our main. And we can now add our webcam nest. So if we go in and add a scene, you'll see webcam nest now sits here. And we can pop that in as so. And we can do the same for all of the other features that we're gonna have on our scene. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we'll skip to the next stage. So now we've got a few more additional sources onto our scene. We need to start thinking about how we're actually going to move them around our stage here. So I'm going to create just a duplicate of this scene that we've got here, because everything we have here, we also want to exist on the next scene. Otherwise, things are going to get a wee bit weird. So right click on this, duplicate, let's call it game. And what we're going to do is just resize things to what we want them to be on our other scene. So let's just shrink that down a bit. I'm going to enlarge this one. And let's take our logo. Shrink that down a wee bit and stick it in the space on this side now. So in order for us to get the move transition to work, we need to set our scene transitions to move. So if we go in, we add a move. Let's call it move, it's fine. We don't need to change anything on this. It's absolutely fine. We can change the duration if we want to. So I'm gonna set this up to 1000. So that's one second. And now, when we flip between our main and our game scene, you'll see everything moves quite smoothly between their positions. Now, one of the reasons we decided to copy the scene rather than creating a new scene is because all of our sources will be on the same layers from scene to scene. Now, what I've done here is I've gone and set up my game scene so that JP logo is now on a higher level than everything else. And if I switch between the two, you'll see there's a weird kind of moment where it kind of 
jumps in front of one of the other windows. It doesn't quite know whether it's meant to be in front or behind. Uh, so we want to avoid that. So by copying that, everything's in the same place. So when you switch between scenes, let me just quickly move this. Everything remains nice and smooth. So there you have it guys, that is how you can create smooth motion transitions between scenes in OBS Studio using the Move Transition plugin. If you found the video informative, you've enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you've got any questions, give me a comment. And if you subscribe to the channel, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.